Law, also known as EPGD Attorneys at Law PA. We are in Miami, Florida, right next to Coral Gables. And here's a really interesting story, okay? Lady comes to me and she says, listen, I'm in a fight with my landlord. I got this demand letter. I have my lease here. I really need your help. And I go, okay. So what she does is eyebrow threading spa, which by the way, I've never heard of eyebrow threading. I'm 38 years old, I made it this far, I just learned about something new. And so eyebrow threading spa, and sure enough, section 18 of this pretty well-drafted, pretty one-sided commercial lease, um, you can always tell when a contract is really one-sided, if it only allows for attorney's fees, if the landlord wins. It didn't have a provision for attorney's fees if the tenant wins, in, a, in this case, between a fight between the landlord and tenant. Now there is case law here in Florida saying that unilateral attorney's fee clauses are, are inherently unjust and that the court can reconstrue it to say what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And so it, it automatically might become a, a, mutu, a, mu, a multilateral or mutual attorney's fee clause where basically prevailing party gets attorney's fees. But in this case, it's the way it's drafted is landlord gets attorney's fees, uh, tenant doesn't. That's how you know that a, a, a lawyer did not help that tenant when they were negotiating their lease a couple years ago. And the lady's pretty unsophisticated. She's a nice lady. She you know, doesn't have a legal training or a business background. She just likes eyebrow threading, right? So you go to section 18 of her lease and it says, the purposes of this business shall be eyebrow threading spa, which is totally a random thing to write down. And sure enough, I'm sure that when they wrote that down, they're like, hey, what are you doing again? She goes, oh, I wanna open an eyebrow threading spa. And the person just typed it in, eyebrow threading spa. Instead of saying beauty spa, various types of spa, whatever. Now, right under that in the paragraph, it says that is the only purpose that shall be allowed for this lease. Now, I get it if you're the landlord, right? If you're the landlord, you sell a lady to do eyebrow threading, you don't wanna open a restaurant. You don't wanna all of a sudden start doing a pet store. You know, you want to have some control over the type of tenants you have. And for very good reason, maybe in the same shopping center, you have other businesses that want to make sure, like, for example, I would be really annoyed if I had a coffee shop and the landlord allowed there to be another coffee shop in the same shopping center. Um, that actually happened to the old coffee shop I used to go to. I would tell clients, I would meet them there and they would always get lost. And I'd, I'd be like, oh, were you at the other one? They're like, yeah. I'm like, how did that landlord get away with that. And I'll tell you how, because the tenant didn't insist on saying, hey landlord, if I'm gonna be your coffee shop, I don't want there to be any other coffee shops. So in this case, the lady says, well I say, well why, why is this coming up? What's going on? She goes, well, I decided to open, uh, to buy a nail chair. So I want somebody to start doing nails in my little beauty spa place. And I go, well, do you do anything else? She goes, yeah, I do facials, I do massages, but our main business is eyebrow threading, but we do those other things too. And I go, well, what, why did this really come up? She goes, well, my next door neighbor is a hair salon and nail salon. And, and, and I'm like, really? She goes, yeah, it's called Nail and Hair Salon. And I'm like, well, no, no, no kidding. Your next door neighbor found out that you're stealing their business and went to the landlord and said, hey, landlord, this is nonsense. And then the landlord is taking a very, very narrow reading of that clause. Now, would I litigate it? Sure. If she was paying me, I'll take it to court and I'll tell the judge, listen, it was meant to be a little bit more than just eyebrow threading spa. The key word is spa, not eyebrow threading. And it's a spa that also does massages, it also does facials, it also does whatever. But here's the risk. The lady presses her luck and then the landlord says, ah, and you're also in violation for the massages and you're also in violation for the facials. And they take a very, very narrow reading of those three words, eyebrow threading spa. So if you are a tenant and you are negotiating a commercial lease, first of all, get a lawyer. Second of all, those leases are not contracts of adhesion. They are not take it or leave it. Most landlords will negotiate a lot of those leases because it's a business arrangement and they will treat it as a business negotiation. But most importantly, whatever you write down in that lease, you're gonna have to live with. So three years ago when she was negotiating it, she never thought that she'd, she'd someday have an ambition to do nails and she never thought that she'd be in a fight with her landlord over the definition of what an eyebrow threading spa is. Does an eyebrow threading spa naturally include nails? Does it include massages? Does it include facials? I have no idea. I've never heard of it until a couple days ago. But the point of the story is, make sure that you know what you're putting in your lease because you're gonna have to live with it. And then, by the way, as an aside, I go, so do you have a personal guarantee? She goes, no, I didn't sign the personal guarantee. I turned to the front page of the lease. It was in her name. The lease was in the name of her company and in her personal name. So there is 
automatically a personal guarantee, which means the landlord's not gonna sue her silly corporation. The landlord's gonna sue her personally if something goes wrong. So for all of you out there, if you're doing a commercial lease, get a lawyer and negotiate. You're gonna have to live with it.